Fate comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. You're listening to The Moment of Power with Azano Eddie Thompson. Daily audio devotions to energize your day presented by the Advent Hero Ministries. Our moment of power topic today is receiving the seal, part three. In whom ye also trusted, after that ye heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom also after that ye believed, ye were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. What Paul is telling us here is that the Holy Spirit is the seal that the Godhead puts on us. With the Holy Spirit, we are sealed unto redemption. Remember that God promised to give us the Holy Spirit. In the book of Acts, when Peter preached on the day of Pentecost, he says, this promise belongs to you and your children and to those who will be called thereafter. God has promised to give us his Holy Spirit for the Holy Spirit to do his work in us, his work of salvation, to redeem us, to bless us, to implant in our hearts enmity against the evil one. Because when God was talking to Adam and Eve after the fall and was telling them about the plan of redemption, the seed of the woman that should come and crush the head of the devil, he says, I will put enmity between you and the serpent. In other words, the serpent is not going to have a complete possession of the human race. There will be people who will say no to the temptations of the devil, who through the power of the Holy Spirit will break the power of sin and will live righteous lives. Romans chapter 8 verse 10, the Bible says, quote, and if Christ be in you, the body dead because of sin but the spirit is life because of righteousness when we were under the power of satan on the bondage slavery to his will slaves of sin we could but not break free by our power but when we accepted christ christ comes in through the power of the holy spirit and breaks the power of sin and we begin to live righteously and there is an enmity in our heart god creates an enmity between us and the serpent an enmity with sin god is the one that does all of this in ezekiel he says i will give you my spirit i will sprinkle you with water and i will cause you to walk in my ways that's how the holy spirit begins to redeem us and recreate in us clean heart, recreating in us the image of God, which is the goal of salvation. Christ cleanses us of our sins and the Holy Spirit recreates in us a clean heart. And that's why Paul would later say in the same book, Ephesians chapter 4, verse 30, Paul writes, he says, And grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby ye are sealed unto the day of redemption. So if we don't have the Holy Spirit, we don't actually belong to God and we don't have hope of redemption. Romans chapter 8 verse 9, the Bible says, But ye are not in the flesh, but in the Spirit. If so be that the Spirit of God dwell in you. Now, if any man have not the Spirit of Christ, he is none of his. End of quote. We don't belong to Christ. We are none of His if we don't have the Spirit of God. How do we have the Spirit of God? We have the Spirit of God when we submit our lives to Christ in repentance and accept His salvation and pray that the Spirit will fill our lives. Because somebody is always possessed. There is no vacuum in nature. When you are not born again, you will be possessed and controlled by the spirits of the devil. But when you come to Christ, the spirit of Christ comes in and the devil has no place in your life. God is telling us today to come to him 
so that we can have his spirit the holy blessed spirit so that we can be sealed unto the day of redemption the spirit awaits our requests and our acceptance right now let us pray father we give you glory we worship you we praise you thank you because you have given us the power of the third person of the godhead the very power of omnipotence to deliver us from sin from the clutches of satan from cultivated and inherited unrighteousness you have given the very power of the holy spirit to seal us unto the day of redemption oh father help us today and bless us help us to be what you want us to be lord creating us a clean heart by the power of the holy spirit take not your holy spirit from us forgive us and seal us unto the day of redemption thank you because you have said that if earthly parents would gladly give good things to their children will you not give to them that ask the holy spirit and so we ask for the holy spirit to fill us today and to seal us unto redemption in the mighty name of jesus christ amen Thank you.